Yeah, my name is Alex Ntiamu Awachi. Um, I'm a resident of Bukum. Uh, originally, my parents, uh, my dad was from Kwawa VTV, my mom from Bando Aveme, uh, but born bred in Bukum. Um, I am a boxing promoter and the CEO of Box Office Sports Promotions. Um, I got into boxing um, through uh, some of my friends who were boxers uh, about three decades ago uh, because the community that I live, boxing is the predominant sport there. And seeing some of my uh, friends staying at the gym training, uh, getting no fights, and I said, okay, why can I get, can't I venture into boxing promotions? It wasn't easy to start, you know, because uh, to promote boxing, you need to um, get a lot, a lot uh, you need to have some big funding to be able to stage it together. But for the passion and, uh, and the perseverance that I have, I was able to push through to today and I've been one of the promoters that have promoted some of the notable fights within the last 10 years. I, I promoted Bukum Bankum and IT Power's first fight and to today is one of the biggest fights that we have had. I promoted Bukum Bankum and uh, um, Basti Samer, also one of the biggest fights and other uh, good fights that you could imagine. Um, Though I'm into business of boxing as a promoter, but not really uh, uh, for the uh, cash or for the money, because I'm a resident of Buko and my passion, I want to see my people grow to the next level. And I've worked uh, once with uh, Rich Komi, his first tit uh, title fight, um, his first international title fight, I co-promoted him with uh, the manager. I uh, have promoted the likes of um, Emmanuel Tegu. I have promoted the last two fights of um, Joshua Clotty. And I have worked with a lot of uh, other bo local boxing promoters and managers. Um, the latest history that I know about boxing is because uh, the Ghana people are warriors and they have a culture of Asafuatria whereby communities, uh, people can go to other communities to challenge them uh, for uh, a street fight uh, in a friendly way, some way back before the colonial times. And that is how people get into the fighting thing in Gamashi. And at a point in time when the colonial people brought in boxing, because they are warriors and they like fighting, the guns are warriors and like fighting, they were able to adapt into the sport uh, uh, quickly than any other people. And that is how uh, boxing is a predominant sport within Gamashi area. And I've had encounter with some of the top trainers from um, Cuba and other places, and they've always told me that uh, Ghanaian, uh, Ghana boy, uh, Ghanaian boxers, especially people from the Gamashi, are very talented because comparing the time that they are able to develop from the scratch to work class level um, is very faster than even the students who start from early age, like six, before they become uh, international stars. So. Actually, that is what all I can say about boxing. Thank you. Yeah, actually, when I say promotion, is about uh, getting the boxers together, having a venue, advertising about the event, and getting the boxers to fight, and then you pay them. And it's not like a football that the pitch is there, or even a community park that you can go bring living aside and you bring them then you they play it's not like that you know boxing you prepare uh, the boxers has to prepare for a long time maybe three months uh, before the fights you know the you need to rent a venue uh, you put security 
there are other obligations that you have to meet. You have a, you have to have a license with the um, the sanctioning body or the controlling authority. You have to pay for sanctioning fee. You pay for officials. You pay for doctors. You bring ambulance to the place. Um, the setup itself, logistics, you need to pay for it. And then the boxes, you need to negotiate with them. The price, the popular the box are, the higher the price is. And so these are some of the things that you need to uh, put together before you come. And the average promotion now maybe with just uh, four fights and maybe a national championship, you'll be looking at over 30,000 Ghana cities to even on the low with uh, average boxes. But when you are getting people like Gokum Bankwen and others, you'll be hitting around two, three hundred thousand Ghana cities per event. You just take into consideration the kind of funding that you need. And uh, boxing or sports arts in general thrive on uh, sponsorship. Uh, in Ghana, sponsorship market is very hard to be able to get a sponsorship for boxing especially. So most of the time, uh, most of the time as a promoter you need to uh, get your own source of funding and then maybe um, hoping for better in future. So that is, but it all boils down on the passion that you have for the sport. And so that's the reason why I'm still in boxing and keeping it. Like any other sport, you know, boxing is uh, one thing that, especially the boxers have got their supporters. And whenever there is a build up to a fight, you could see these supporters uh, going on procession, singing, and all that stuff. Um, you know, it, it gives them joy and happiness. And you being a boxer winning uh, high level fights uh, give you some sort of uh, respect in the community. And also, it brings people together. Sometimes, because it's a fight game, uh, people break into fights. They, even the supporters break into fights. But with a few days, they come together and they, 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 they come together and they're happy and they are, you know. So basically, that is how it brings people together. Even there are some people who are not in good terms, but once they are all supporting one boxer, you know, they share the same. Uh, 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 they, they share the same procession. Like when there is a procession and jubilation, some of them forget even about their problems in the house. So that is all I can say about uh, how it brings people together. Actually, boxing is a skill, and you need to develop it over a, a long period of time. And so, uh, like you say, some of the street uh, fights that you see is something that they haven't seen around sometimes on TV and sometimes uh, going to watch. And you know kids, how they behave sometimes, what they see is what they emulate. So some of the kids who have love for the sport, they try to imitate uh, their heroes and all that stuff on the streets. And that is how they are being picked by some of the experts or the coaches from the street and then they bring them to the gym. And then through that, they develop their skill over a period of time and they, they become stars. So some of the, uh, most of the uh, world champions that we've got, uh, they can tell you their story that, oh, somebody found, uh, found them on the street fighting and all that stuff and then they were taken to the gyms to learn. So it's, 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 it's a growing process for some of the fights, but not all of them will turn into good fighters. Some also even will divert into being trainers and all that stuff. So. Basically, that it is. And the ladies, or the young la uh, ladies that you are seeing on the street, you know, we have a lot of young ladies in, within Gamashin that are very good in terms of fighting, but they are not channeling those uh, uh, skills into boxing. But now that they have seen that some few ladies out there are being taken to the international level, they believe they could also you know follow suit so that is the reason why some of them and it's very good because it's it makes them focus on something and so they don't get into some social vices like prostitution and all other things that can destroy their life and so i think it's something that is 
a step in the right direction that we need to support them. We have the Wisdom Gym, of which is being headed by Coach Asari, who is uh, the national uh, team coach. We have um, Atokwashi Boxing Gym, whereby we have some of the uh, former Commonwealth champions like Jojashi, Budaisai, and all that stuff coming from and Anyetela coming from. We also have uh, fit, uh, no, no, we also have discipline gym whereby we got our recent Olympic medal, uh, Olympic medalist uh, Samuel Tichi coming from. And Chasquote gym also has produced some WBO Africa champion, national champions like uh, Michael Ansan and other stuff. So basically that, these are a few gyms that we have within the Kamashi. But like, I said uh, boxing is centered in Gamashi and most of the gyms that are performing well are within Gamashi. And I can tell you on authority that there is no boxer in Ghana that has become a world champion, that has no connection uh, from Gamashi. Uh, Dugby is a Votarian and he has never lived in Gamashi before, but if you want to connect, uh, you want to have the connection uh, the dad came to stay in Gamashi and lived with some of uh, these uh, old boxers like Bukum Fire and all that stuff and he learned the skill from them and so when he went to the UK with his kid he started teaching him so he got something from Gamashi like Nanayo Kanedu from the Eastern region but he has got family home in Gamashi that is where he started and then he's the uncle of uh, Emmanuel Gameboy Tegu so they are all coming so you could see all from that. Agbeku left his parents, lived in Gamashi, though he's a Votarian, lived with some of the guys in Gamashi for a long time and he trained with, uh, with them before. So all the world champions, you could connect something from Gamashi. Um, for me, boxing as a sport is one thing that we need to protect and make sure we develop it to, to the highest level because is something that creates opportunity for the youth within Gamashi because um, those who don't have, I don't say like they shouldn't get into uh, schooling, but those who don't have the privilege of go to, going to school and they have the fighting spirit, they, they can channel their uh, skill through boxing and they can become you know, where I come, like somewhere teaching within the community. Is the, is the only uh, African that got a medal in boxing. And it has opened a lot of doors for him. And so I believe um, people within Gamashi, when we are able to come together and push the sport very well, I believe it's, it's going to be something that can uh, eradicate poverty because Joshua Kloti, a native of Gamashi, when you look at the background, is coming from, he was coming from a poor family. And now he's been able to have properties in East Lagoon and all that stuff. And he could make some big money from renting some of his properties because he's my friend, so I know some of these things. And he's living very good. Same like uh, I bought in and all that stuff. So it's something that I think can change lives. So we should hold it seriously.